Welcome to Scratch Jr. Beat the Clock. This is a challenging program game that gets harder with each new challenge. In this game, you have to select the correct backgrounds, sprites, and scripts for the program you're about to see. You will have three minutes to complete your challenge. If you get done early, open a new page and get creative there. Please click on the home button and open a new project. You may begin now. This is about the halfway mark. I'm sure you're doing a great job. You still have about a minute and a half to go. Uh, so check over your project a little bit. Do you have the right background? Did you have to make any changes to it or change colors or draw your own background? How about your sprites or characters? Did you have to edit those, change colors, make a new character? Did you have to add sounds or new pages? And finally, your scripts. Are your programming blocks making your characters or sprites do what you see on the screen? Check those out. Make some changes if they're not. Best of luck. Doing a great job. Okay, our three minutes are up for Challenge 11 Under the Sea. I hope you did a wonderful job on this and were able to get most of the program, hopefully all of it. And we're going to look at how this program was created. So let's, let's start now. Like usual, you're going to get rid of your character. I'm going to get rid of Tick and you're going to get rid of Scratch Cat and pick the undersea background. Now we need some characters, so we're gonna to go to the whale first. Click the whale one time, then the paint bucket, and go ahead and color it gray. Rather than put it on the screen, then click the paint bucket. You save a little bit of time. Now, while we have the whale, let's go ahead and do the code. Turn it to the left, keep that left, move left button, and bring down the trigger block. And we're gonna repeat forever. The whale's going a little bit slower, so bring the speed button down and make it go slow. So there's our script for our whale. I tested it out there, and there it's moving. Place it on the screen where it needs to go, and let's go and add some fish. Now here's where the hint came in to use the stamp tool. So we're gonna find the yellow fish and hit the paint editor, and then I wanna move it up a little bit so I have room for my four fish, and then go ahead and stamp. So go ahead, stamp, make four fish total, and they're all going to have the same code. So I didn't want it 
anyone to make four different fish with four different scripts, which would have made it a lot harder to finish in time. So purple, red, and the blue, and keep the one yellow fish, and then hit your check mark. Place them on the screen and go ahead and select the trigger block. We're going to use the green flag again. We're going to use move right at a regular speed this time so that you don't have to add a speed. And then forever repeat. Go ahead and add the seahorse, which has a slightly more difficult program. And we're going to get trigger block. We're still using the green flag. We're going to go to the right. And I've changed that to about a three. If you had a two, if you had a four, anywhere along those lines would have been a great um, thing to have. And if you noticed, it waited a little bit and then went back to start. And then we're going to add the loop there. In my original program, I had a wait block after the second one too, which changes the movement a little bit. And then we'll go to our last character, which is a starfish. So I'll bring the starfish down. This starfish is just going to wiggle to the right and to the back, to the left. So just turn right, turn left. And then we're going to use the repeat forever button again. And test that out. We're going to go to the top, so do the stage area, and see how the program's running. So everything's going. The whale's going a little slower. The seahorse should be moving a little slower. I have it pausing on the right part. It will also pause on the left area. I hope you enjoyed Challenge 11 Under the Sea. I really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share below. Have a wonderful day. Until next time.